After another great victory off the coast of Guadalcanal, Convoy G-1 was easily able to unload all of her troops and supply on the island. This firmly tips the balance of power on Guadalcanal in our favor. We will continue to fortify and strengthen our positions in the Solomon Islands. Once our possessions are secured, we will hunt down that American carrier task force and destroy it in one decisive battle. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of War on the Sea as the Imperial Japanese Navy. We are pretty much picking up right where we left off. Task Force 6 is operating off of Savo Island, protecting Guadalcanal from any pesky American transport fleets. We'll have them zig around there. I-40 is going to continue patrol down here. Convoy G-1 just unloaded all of their supply on Guadalcanal, so now we have 8,000 troops and 7,000 supply and 200 engineering. Uh, and you can see the balance of power there. They are now heading back to Rabal, and look who is near Rabal. Task Force 7. So we are actually going to rearm. Yeah, replenish ships. All ships rearmed. Perfect. And we have 185 command points to play with, and I think I'm going to get something a little exciting this time. So I do want to get a carrier uh, task force going, but it probably will be my next task force because the one, the carrier task force I want is quite expensive. Uh, for one, I want Shokaku and Zuikaku. And then one Tone class heavy cruiser, and then three to four Akazuki class destroyers, which have the dual purpose uh, main batteries. So that'll give our carrier task force some nice defense, and I'll probably have them patrol out here. I want to search for that American carrier group. However, before I do that, I want to ensure Guadalcanal is completely secured, and I think that means bolstering our surface fleets. So we have 185 command points, that means we can get what everyone's been really waiting for. <laughs> uh, new C, that's how you do this. All right. And we are going to go down. First off, we have enough to get another Congo class battleship, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to get Haruna. And then we also have enough to get, drum roll please. Where is it? Yamato. We are going to get Yamato, because why not? <laughs> Uh, it's pretty hard to pass up. That's going to be 174 command points done. And we are going to merge this fleet. Um, uh, here we go. No, not really ships. Merge groups. There we go. Perfect. And it renamed this to Task Force 6. So I'm just going to go back. This is Task Force 7. I probably will get Yamato. I'll probably put her in Task Force 6 when this Task Force makes her way down here. Mainly because Task Force 6 has been with us since the beginning. This was our first Task Force, so that's kind of symbolic. Um, but anyway, uh, they are going to head down there. Convoy G2 is loaded up with supply and troop. That's right, I already did this. So we have 1,250 troops on one merchant ship, and then 2,000 supply on the rest. I did not take anything on our destroyers this time. I did release the two... The, the two, oh my gosh, oilers, uh, because we have no fuel here to carry, so. And they are going to make their way down to Guadalcanal to kind of close the gap here. So we have less supply than troops. That's not good. You generally want a one-for-one -one balance there. And I believe that's all. It's currently uh, 18 past midnight. We're just going to patrol the slot, make sure no American forces come around. There have been quite a few new patches that have come out since my previous episode. One of them should cut down on the amount of duplicate task forces. So we have encountered uh, two or three now task forces that have two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and like six merchant ships. So hopefully uh, this next patch will cut down on that. However, any task forces that are currently at sea um, with that composition will still be out there. So it is very possible we will be encountering another uh, task force with that exact composition. Uh, so we need to be worried. Uh, just need to be on the lookout for that. Hopefully, uh, the patch fixes it. Also, they added this. You can filter by nation now, which is very welcome. And they've also changed things like cooldowns for aircraft and, uh, when you can use time compression. So you can use time compression a bit more frequently in the tactical battles. Well, it's coming up on 5 o'clock, so I'm going to get all of my scouts up in the air for today, and I'll keep you all updated of any developments.
Well, here we go. We've encountered kind of what I thought we would. Two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and six merchant ships. I-40 is going to move to engage, and we are going to scramble more aircraft to head right down there and try to finish them off. The only airfield that's in range of these guys is going to be Guadalcanal. Uh, so we'll take out the heavy cruisers and then wipe out all the merchant ships. I'm kind of debating cutting uh, the... I can ignore this. Just cutting me bombing merchant ships. Whoa. Okay, four destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, and one carrier. Wow. Let's begin this just to see. Okay, I thought the game was going to... I have had multiple hangups. Um loading into tactical battles the the game's starting to get kind of unstable i think with um all the new patches and stuff in this campaign so i'm kind of worried about that to be honest uh but i've i've had that issue multiple times now look at this though wow okay well the the main threat currently is the task force right off Guadalcanal. But this is um this is going to be a problem very soon. And this is what we're going to take out. Now do I hmm we got to take out the task force that's right next to us first. But this is cool to see. Cool to see for sure. Let's go ahead and leave combat. Interesting. Yeah, so we need to take out that other task force first, or else I would scramble a strike to try to hit this, but this is a lot of AAA. So my grand strategy for taking this out is, with my carriers, launch a big strike, take out the aircraft carrier, and then at night, come in with my surface fleet and have a big surface engagement. That's good to know their composition, though. Unfortunately, this is that is way cooler than this task force. I'm tired of sinking merchants. Um, we're going to sink merchants nonetheless. I probably will cut my repeated uh, attacks on the merchant ships. Just, I mean, it just gets repetitive. I don't, I don't see it being that interesting to uh, watch. Let's try to get our sub into a pretty good position before we engage. Maybe they can shit. Okay, Val's run away. Scramble our zeros. Those are definitely... Okay, we need to begin this encounter. Our valves are in the area. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Full speed, it's time to go. <laughs> time to run. I guess the enemy surface fleet is not in the combat area. Wow, those planes are going to make this interesting. Okay, we can leave in zero seconds, so let's... Do I see the planes? All right, let's go ahead and leave. It's letting us leave, fine. Let's get our zeros over here. And pull our main task force back. Okay, Val, let's get back over here. Unfortunately, we only have four zeros. Okay, they have encountered my Jake. There they are. I guess it's like a whole mess of wildcats. That's normally what it is. This Jake's boned. Yeah, <laughs> look at all these wildcats coming in. All right, rear gunner, show them what for. Yep, here they come. Goodbye, Jake. You've served well. I suppose. There we go. Yeah, big surprise there. So this is what the AI carrier group does. They Their wildcats show up, and then they disappear for quite a while. Anyway, we're going to search for this convoy. Our vowels and our zeros. Okay, perfect. I-40 is actually in position. Begin. Start. Where did it put Yeah. 
Hey, our zeros are here as well, of all things. Of course, we are going to try to take out the heavy cruisers first. Something like that. Look at all these guys. Bunch of merchant ships. Of course. Oh, a county class. Cool. That's interesting to see. Heavy cruiser. Can go ahead and begin to identify it with this this nice little filter. I do I do like that feature. I'm glad to finally have that. Northampton class. Um I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, indeed. Recognize. Oh, target it. Recognize it. There we go. Looks like there's only two left. That'll be our primary target. Solution's already at 90%. What? Let me see what the range of our torpedoes are. That is not us, unfortunately. F6. To Japan. Type 95. Range 7,500 meters. Okay. Could fire at long range. I'm probably just going to fire probably four torpedoes at this Northampton. I just want to sink it outright. I don't want it to da be damaged and limp along. I, I just want it destroyed. Uh, two heavy cruisers put up a lot of AAA. Um, it's noticeably different whenever there's just one. And uh, my aircraft have a much higher survival rate, so we'll do that. Anyway, it's going to be a little bit. We are using time compression currently. It's going to be a little while before we maneuver into position, but when we are in a good attack position, I'll get back to you. All right, I think we are clear to fire. Solutions at 99%. I have four torpedoes. I have like a less than one degree spread here. Fire. Okay, down scope. Drop the boat down to 130. 110 meters and let's just get out of here turn around let's just start moving at eight knots currently we'll rig for silent running once our torpedoes are getting close to the target they have quite the runtime we can actually okay this is a new feature uh it was added in the latest patch you can use time compression with torpedoes now which is quite nice especially because these torpedoes just run for a, a very long time there's our torpedoes in the water out there We'll see. Hopefully we get some good, good hits and completely just destroy this thing in one attack. Yeah, those look pretty darn good. Stop using time compression. Yeah. All right. Let's see. One. Beautiful. Three. Four hits. How are you looking up here? Yeah, that's what I would call not good. All right, rig for silent running. Our boat is pretty far away now, so reduce speed to three knots. Destroyers don't really know where that came from. Looks like she is taking on water quite rapidly. They're trying to counter flood and she is sinking. Northampton is sinking. It's like this cruiser's turning towards us. That was this destroyer. I'll, there's no way they really have a good beat on me, though. Let's change course. All friendly ships and aircraft may leave the battle. Yeah, she's just sailing, sailing on a steady course alongside this county. I think we are clear to leave. One Northampton down. The rest of the convoy is running away. Okay, let's uh, leave the area. Why not? 9,000 tons, 11 command points gained. One aircraft. It was an aircraft? I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. Good job. I-40. More valves will... Okay, they need to... They're low on fuel. We'll get more valves in the area and try to hit the county class next. Okay, here we go. Our valves are coming down towards the enemy. I'm actually going to split them up. Valves number five and six going to break and form up. We are in line ahead formation. We're going to try this out. I've actually been experimenting with attacking attacking the enemies in line ahead and from the bow or stern on. 
Um, I wouldn't say it's actually much better in game. I, it's really just a crapshoot <laughs> either way. So um, I've had remarkable successes with it when I was testing it and then also some failures. I will say the first times when I first started playing the game, I did attack with my dive bombers like this and it was not successful at all. And that really just formed my opinion on this method that it wasn't uh, worth the, you know, the effort of setting up. But uh, we'll start doing it a little bit more and we'll see how we do, how the results are. Already starting to take anti-aircraft fire. So I have two, two valves going for the heavy cruiser and then two going for the merchant. Might as well start taking out the merchants while we are at it. Once the heavy cruiser is taken out, we'll start just working on the merchants and leave the destroyers. They are not worth really, I don't know, worth much. Kind of a waste. Okay, these valves are dropping down. Let's watch them hit the heavy cruiser. That's the most exciting part. Oh, it's a flak. Oh boy, that looks rough. Okay, bombs away. Let's see how these go. Give me something good. Misses. <laughs> oh. Were all of them misses? Okay, one valve was shot. Four hits on the cargo ship, though. At least we hit a cargo ship. The, the county class is still all right. I-40 is pretty far away. I may disengage and try to get more valves in uh, quicker. Oh, wow. Still getting shot at. Run away, Val. Run away. Ah, oh, that, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I'm probably going to disengage. I-40 will engage at another time. I kind of want to use my aircraft as much as possible, really, because there's less risk involved. So uh, we'll scramble some more Vals and hit them again. Okay, we have another engagement on our hands. Our Vals are in the area, and so is I-40. However, I-40 is just out of range. She's at nine kilometers away from this C3 cargo. So I'm not sure she'll actually be able to attack with her torpedoes. However, our valves should be able to hit that county class form up. Please, thank you. If we take out that county, that'll be perfect. We'll have all four valves hit the county. I don't think I-40, I mean, she may just get in range here. We'll see though. 8.7. Yeah, it's going to be iffy. That's for sure. Hey, let's get them lined up and then we'll order them to attack. Okay, target and attack. All four valves. 8 kilometers, 8.4 and closing, but I don't think the closure rate's fast enough. They're going 11 knots. We're only going 8. Hopefully, our valves will be able to take out this cruiser. If she's done for, then we just have merchant ships to really finish off. Even if we just cripple her, I-40 can move into position and torpedo her. That'll work out, too. All right, starting to take anti-aircraft fire from the destroyers. Looks like the second destroyer on the line has dual purpose guns, but the leading warship does not. We'll, we'll watch down here. This is always cool. Cool all, uh, way to look at it. All four coming in. One, two valves are already heavily damaged. One just ate it. Hey, okay, bombs away. Beautiful, good hits. Looks like four hits, four direct hits. Two valves are already kaput. Run away. Bob and weave. Yeah, two, four hits, right? Is that all we got? Indeed. That's not too bad. Let's get a quick report and see the damages. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. We'll see if that situation changes at all for her. And it looks like all the freighters and everything are turning away. We may need a, another strike to finish off the heavy cruiser. Then we can pick apart the C3 cargo ships with uh, air power. Okie doke. Well, I'm gonna wait around and see if this ship floods anymore. 
uh, before ordering another strike. I-40 is not going to, be, going to be able to catch them. I mean, she's still closing, but now that the cargo ships are zigzagging, it's just... I don't want to waste a torpedo like that. I only want to fire if I am guaranteeing a hit, especially because she's pretty low now. I mean, just she have 11 torpedoes, so we want to try to be a, a little conservative with them. Anywho, we are going to watch this county class, see what happens, and I'll get back to you soon. Well, I've been watching this uh, county class for a while, and she looks okay, honestly. If we see the report, yeah, she's getting her flooding under control. Heavy damage, but flooding is getting under control. However, let, let's let's look here. What what in the world <laughs> is happening here? Five kilometers away from this mess, and uh, let's begin targeting this C3 cargo, and begin targeting her let's go ahead and identify her as well might as well might as well take them out while we're here the destroyers are super far away and united states type c3 recognize build up that solution to around 100 percent 99 percent and let's just fire one torpedo zero degree spread range is four kilometers fire there we go, one and away. Let's begin targeting number two in the line. Might as well, right? And it is another C3 cargo. Okay, uh, it says C3, but there we go. Excuse me? Uh, this is bugged out. C3. There we go. We'll fire another one at her once the solution gets up to 90. All right. Fire. There we go. We'll see how these do. What the hell? Okay, they may not hit, actually, because they're going in circles. <laughs> what is what is going on? Yeah, those are probably going to miss. It looks like we need to get closer then. Yeah, look at that. I figured they were actually going in a straight line. Let's move here. I, yeah, this is funky. Okay. Oh, we'll get closer and fire that way. Let's look at the counting. Still just burning, but she isn't sinking. All right, we'll just get at point blank and fire that way. Looks like the two destroyers are just racing off out here. They're not gonna be much of an issue. Oh, county is sinking. Are you serious? Awesome. I was That was actually very unexpected. I was not expecting her to sink. I figured I would need another strike. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, perfect. Well, now it's time for our sub to get in here. We wait, just wasted two torpedoes. I really thought they were about to straighten out and start sailing in a reasonable manner, but I was mistaken. How far away are we from this one? Two kilometers. Let's just get point blank, shall we? Looks like these guys are starting to sail north. May be able to hit number nine here rather easily. Yeah, this one may be our actual target. Two kilometers out. Speed is still eight knots, so we are booking it. Solution's 99%. All right, fire. She is turning, but I feel okay with that. At that range, it should be all right. Here's hoping. Okay, torpedo is turned. Heading towards the target. However, her turn is... Let me make this... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. As long as it's not a dud. Oh, look at that. She's turning pretty aggressively now, but... Boom, torpedo impact. Perfect. And that may do, that may finish her off. I-40 is going to 
turn around and get on out of here. It's interesting. I could plot the course of the C3. Is that what it was showing previously? A little glitch there. And I think one torpedo will be enough to sink her. So destroyers are turning around, but we'll be able to get down and get out of here fast enough. I think the C3 will go down. So that is two ships sunk uh, in this encounter. Let's get a report. Yep, heavy damage, heavy flooding. So it's just a matter of time. We'll keep our eye on her and wait for her to sink as well. And we'll start just picking the rest of the formation apart with aircraft. Well, this C3 cargo ship is being awfully stubborn. Her speed is three knots, but and her flooding is heavy, but she's still going. She is not sinking. So we are just going to leave the combat area. Our boat is so far away at this point, so we are good to leave. And yep, heavy damage. We sunk one though, their heavy cruiser, and that gained us 11 command points. Well, I think that'll actually do it for this episode. It's currently 1147. I'm probably just going to launch a bunch of valves and mop up those merchant ships off camera. Um, I don't want the series to get too bogged down with, you know, attacking merchant ships and the same task force. So um, I think it's best for me just to do that off screen and kind of kind of recap. We also found an enemy submarine way out here, but that's not much of a threat currently. Well, that'll probably do it for today's episode, though. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.